Hello everyone. So today I'm here with another book haul. Listen, okay, I know I just did a book haul like a month ago, but I've been like buying so many books. I feel like I have kind of embraced the fact that my reading taste has changed. I know I've made so many videos on here and I could make another one about how reading my reading taste just changed constantly. I'll kind of like get into a genre and only read that for quite a while and then kind of drop it and find a new one. Um, and I kind of have been doing that in the last like year or so. I just kind of embraced it finally and bought a whole bunch of books that I'm actually really excited to read. And it's really making me reconsider all of the other books that are on my TBR, but it's fine. I'll figure it out eventually. But I, yeah, I just bought a whole bunch of books in the last little bit. I bought a whole nother, God, like three stacks um, since the last book haul. So here we are. So I kind of have little sections. I have like romance, horror, some literary fiction, some manga. So I think I'm going to start with horror because that is what I'm the most excited for right now because obviously we're getting into it's It's not spooky season yet. I live in South Carolina, Georgia, right on the Savannah River. Um, so right now it's still very much summer if you can't tell by my outfit. But it's going to be summer until like December. Only thing I miss from the north is having seasons. But um, yeah, I, I'm i getting into the spooky mood. I think I might have to start reading my horror books in about September because I have too many. So yeah, you guys will be getting lots of spooky content in the next couple of months. Yeah, I have quite a big little, big little stack, big stack of horror books that I'm gonna show you. So the first one is obviously the very, very highly anticipated What Moves the Dead by T. Kingfisher. I have already read this and I put up a review on Goodreads if you're interested. I give it about four stars. But this absolutely gorgeous new horror book by T. Kingfisher who wrote my one of my favorite horror books of all time, which is The Hollow Places right here. Um, but yes, this little, very little um, hardcover is absolutely gorgeous. And I was highly anticipating it, so I'm glad I read it and I liked it. Um, but yes, this is a retelling of The Fall of the House of Usher by Edgar Allan Poe. And it was great. I don't want to talk too much about it because I don't want to give away my review. But first book I bought. Not actually the first book I bought, but first book in this stack. And then I have one more non-Stephen King horror book. And then I just have a stack of Stephen King. So I have Unbury Carol by Josh Mallerman. I hated bird box so much it's one of my least favorite books of all time but I've been interested in this one since its release and I was like so tempted to buy it for so many years ever since it came out and I just didn't but my local bookstore had it on sale for eight bucks so I decided to just try it out especially because I believe it Kayla from Books and Lala just recently read it and actually really really enjoyed it even though she wasn't too sure about it either and Kayla and I usually kind of line up on our horror um things that we like so yes I am excited to read this it's about a woman who like kind of goes into comas every once in a while and her husband decides to take advantage of one of these and tells everyone she died and she gets buried alive I think I think is what happens <laughs> Definitely while I'm going through these horror, tell me in the comments below which one should get bumped to the very top of my like horror 2022 TBR because I do have a couple other books on it obviously that are, I, I didn't buy recently, I bought a while ago so I'm not gonna show them here but any of these definitely tell me which one should go to the top because yeah I have a whole little stack, <laughs> a whole little stack, a whole big stack of Stephen King. Um, I used to hate Stephen King, listen let's talk. I used to hate Stephen King. That was kind of one of my personality traits as a book reader. I hated Stephen King because I really don't like the language used in his older books. I don't like how often he uses the R word. I don't like how he uses the F word against queer people. Um, but also I know Stephen King has grown as a person. Um, and so I've kind of been trying to look past those things in his older books. But I am always going to mention them every time I hold up his books. Like It uses the R word and the F word so many times and it really really bothers me but I'm tr again trying to look past it and understand Stephen King has grown as a person since this. So anyways I'm in the middle of this. I am currently 450 pages in. I'm on part 
two, three, two. So yeah, I'm kind of slowly reading this because I really do want to be reading it, but I also have so many other books I want to read. So I'm kind of reading in like making it like four separate books. <laughs> so yeah, It by Stephen King. I read this when I was in middle school. I really, really hated it, but now I'm really loving it. I think Stephen King just does nostalgia so, so well. And this book is like the prime nostalgia book. So I've been really liking it. It's good. Um, I also picked up Doctor Sleep by Stephen King. All of these are going to be by Stephen King. This is the sequel to, Doc, uh, to The Shining, which I actually watched the movie last year with Nico, but my therapist, <laughs> my therapist is a really big Stephen King fan, and she said that, she was like, oh, have you seen Doctor Sleep? And I was like, I watched the movie, but I haven't read the book yet. And she was like, you've got to read the book. It is so much better than the movie. And it's weird because I've heard so many people say that they absolutely hate Doctor Sleep. Um, and I thought the movie was really good. Like, I thought it was pretty decent. I thought it got a little too, um, Twilight Eclipse towards the end. <laughs> I swear, it's, it's like the same plot as Twilight Eclipse. But, um, she said that the book was so, so good. So I decided to pick it up when, again, my local Second and Charles had a huge just stack of Stephen King for really cheap, which they never used Stephen King's at this place. So eight bucks. I had to. Hi, Bian! Oh my god, it's been so long since you said hello to the fans. The Binny Boo fans. This is my kitty. Aww. Also, I know you guys haven't gotten to see Charlie that much, who's my newest kitten. She's not as um cuddly and lovey as Bin is, so she's over there. But I do have three cats now, if you guys didn't know that. You are shedding like crazy cat. I just, I have so much cat hair in my mouth now. You wanna come up? Ben, come on. Come on, good boy. Um, okay, next up, we have Carrie by Stephen King, which I have actually never read Carrie. I know exactly what happens in it, just through knowing pop culture. But um, yeah, I've never actually read it before, so I'm actually kind of excited. Obviously, I feel like it's a very mixed, reviewed book because it's Stephen King's first so people have a lot of issues with it um like the writing isn't as good as other books by him um but I hear that the story is still obviously really good so gonna try this one for the first time Ben you really need to clip your nails we need to clip your nails but you're killing me over here he's like digging his nails into my thigh oh now you're doing it to my arm bye babe go go the next one was another one. This was $2, The Second and Charles. I had to. I've been wanting to read this for a very long time, and that's The Mist. I absolutely love the movie of this book. So I've been wanting to watch the, uh, read the book ever since I've watched the movie back when I was in, like, freshman year of undergrad. So I'm really excited. It's one of his, like, novellas, I guess you'd call it. So really excited for this. The next one I picked up was just because, is, is this a new adaptation or something? Because I feel like it's been everywhere. Like every time I go into any store that sells books, there's a dozen copies of this. And that is Lysi's story? Lysi's story? I don't know. When the person's name is bigger than the title of the book, I'm concerned that it's just famous because of the author. <laughs> but this is basically, it sounds like, um, oh my god, what's that movie called? When... Oh, God, it's like when they like go into people's dreams. Oh God, I don't know. This is about, she's like his, her um, husband died and she has to like, before they married, Lisey knew there was a place Scott went, a place that terrified and healed him, could eat him alive or give him the ideas he needed in order to live. And now that he's dead, she has to like face his like world that he's created in his head. I have no idea. It sounds really cool though, so. We got it. And then I picked up a Firestarter because there is a new adaptation for this. It's a it's a movie now. Um, this is actually one of my friend's favorite books of all time. And I have been meaning to read it ever since she told me that back when we were in high school. So I feel like now that I'm on my Stephen King kick, I should finally give it a try. This is not horror though. This is like kids with superpowers, which Stephen King seems to have two things, horror or kids with superpowers. This is Kids with Superpowers. All right, next up, I'm going to do some romance, starting with Crave 
by Tracy Wolf. This is the one that everyone thinks is Twilight. Um, I've heard it's just actually really good. Haley actually like loves this series. So I'm always up for something that gives me like Twilight nostalgia. So I figured I'd pick it up. It's vampires, vampire romance. I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Next up, I bought a whole bunch of books because of the Target, like, buy one, get one sale. So I have The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is one, I feel like I've just been seeing this all over the place. The cover is gorgeous, so I totally understand why. And I believe that this is about a woman who gets into this company and, like, it's a boss romance or something I think they're lawyers or like architects I don't know I don't look into my romance that often but I keep seeing it recommended so I wanted to pick it up I also picked up The Deal by Elle Kennedy this is an author I feel like I've been hearing about on booktube for years every time like a while ago when everyone was trying to get into quote unquote new adult which was just romance <laughs> um I feel like Elle Kennedy was everywhere and people were like scandalized because it's just smut. Um, but yeah, this is a like hockey romance, I think. So, gonna try it out. I also got The Charm Offensive by Alison Cochern, and this is a queer bachelor, basically. So, it's two men, but it's like The Bachelor. And I think we basically follow them while they're filming The Bachelor, but queer. I wish that actually existed. <laughs> This was another Haley influenced book and that is Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover. I feel like Colleen Hoover has gone through many phases. People absolutely loved her and everyone ever was reading her and then she was problematic and canceled and everyone hated her and now she's back because people are like she wasn't actually problematic she was just writing books that were like supposed to make you uncomfortable. Um, so I'm gonna give her a try. This was Haley's favorite so I picked it up. I also got Beth O'Leary's newest book. I never read The Switch by her, um, but I absolutely loved The Flat Share. And this is The Road Trip. And I'm assuming it's just gonna be a fun road trip romance. It's a cute cover, I really like it. I had no idea that this came out, so I don't know what that says about it. Ooh, that stock is getting high. Oh no. I also picked up another one for Pride Month, and that was Everything For You by Chloe Lise. And this is like the fifth book in a series, The Bergman Brothers. And I was really excited to read this for Pride Month, and then I ended up reading nothing for Pride Month, so that sucks, but I have it. It's a queer soccer player romance. And then I picked up the book I feel like I've been hearing about for so long, Punk 57 by Penelope Douglas. I've never read a Penelope Douglas, but this book just seen it everywhere so I don't know what it's about I don't know if I've been seeing it everywhere because it's good or if it's bad so I picked it up I want to experience it okay that's as high as that sack is gonna get we're gonna leave that then over here let's keep going with romance I picked up all three of the first volumes of um Mo Xing Tong Shu's books um who is a Chinese writer who wrote queer, gay, smut, and they got in a lot of trouble for it, but it's also a really popular thing now. Um, so we have The Grand Master of Demon Cultivation. I love the titles of these. They're like ridiculous. Um, and gay, so that's awesome. Um, the, <laughs> the Scum Villain Self-Saving System, gay, love it. And then <laughs> Heaven's, Heaven's Official Blessing gay love it really really excited for these i thought that they were manga at first they're not they are novels i know that there's manhua for it but these were what were available at my local Jackman and charles and the last romance i picked up this month was the perks of loving a wallflower by erica ridley this has been on my tbr like to read for so long and I finally found it in person and I got really excited so I picked it up. Also JK I lied. I have one more romance from that Target buy one get one. The Predator by Rune Nix and I think this is a yeah a mob romance which we'll see. I like don't usually like mob centered stories like I really don't like mob k-dramas or movies or anything so we'll see if I like it in a book and a romance. 
All right, let's do manga just really, really quick. I got Deco Boko Bittersweet Days. I have ordered the first volume of this. I didn't realize that this is the second volume, so I have ordered the first one. That's on its way, coming very soon. And I also have Secret XXX, which is about a rabbit, a guy who works at a rabbit store, pet store. I don't know, it's wrapped, so I gotta like, gotta figure out what this one is. <laughs> And now we're on to the last section, which is kind of random, some lit fic, some sci-fi, so let's just get into it. Obviously I have Blake Crouch's new release, Upgrade. This sounds like fun. I love Blake Crouch. I've loved everything I've read by him, so obviously I had to pick this up. I'm really, really excited about it, so... This is about a guy who, like, his brain gets upgraded. Like, someone hacks his genome and, like, upgrades his brain. So, sounds fun. We've got Young Mungo by Douglas Stewart, a queer kind of story about two boys who like should be enemies, but they fall in love. And I think it probably faces a lot of, I think it's probably about a lot of them like facing homophobia from the church because they're both Christian. So I'm interested, really excited about this one. I've heard amazing things. Then I have Elif Batuman, The Idiot. Um, this was another one I found for three bucks at my local Second Hand Charles. Really excited about it. Um, I've just seen this everywhere on Bookstagram and I was having FOMO. This seems like a dark academia that takes place in Harvard and it's kind of like a romance, dark academia, something. I don't know. Sounds fun. I love Harvard. I grew up in Massachusetts so I went to Cambridge all the time. So I always find it really fun when a book is set at Harvard. And the last book I have to talk about is the one that I'm currently reading, and that is How High We Go in the Dark by Sequ... Ah, oh, I should have looked up how to say it. Sequia Nagamatsu. And this is a book that follows basically a near future that is being very affected by climate change. And they, these people, like archaeologist people, are going through the Arctic Circle and they find a little girl frozen in the ice and when she dethaws, a deadly virus is released into mankind. Ben, what are you doing? He's like sticking his head out of the blinds. Bro, what you doing? <laughs> so yes, this is one I'm currently reading and I'm really, really excited about it, obviously. All right, anyways, those are all of the books that I bought in the last month. I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. I'm hoping I'm in a reading mood again. I'm like getting back into it, so I'll actually be able to get through some of these books in a timely manner. Hopefully, cross your fingers. But anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Definitely tell me down in the comments below if you've read any of these, which ones should begin bumped to the top of my TBR, all of that kind of stuff. So anyways, I love you all, and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!